kids, how are you today? I hope you are doing great. My name is Teacher Julie, your science teacher, and I'm so excited to learn with you. All right, are you ready? Let's start. Look at the jumbled letters flashed on your TV screen. Try to arrange them to form a word. For those who are listening over the radio, I will be saying the letters. A, M, T, T, R, E. Kids, come on, read with me. This describes the physical things that are made up of particles called atoms and molecules. It has mass and occupies space. Again, the letters are A, M, T, T, R, E. Did you guess it right? Say your answer after hearing the sound. Correct! It's matter! Kids, guess what? We have a friend with us to help us learn more about what we need to know. Knock, knock! Dr. Einstein, are you there? Yes, Teacher Julie! Hey kids! Do you know that everything around us is matter? The soil, water, air, and many more. Matter has different properties that make them different from one another. Some types have properties that make them good materials for producing useful products. Other types have properties that make them harmful. Sometimes, matter also undergoes changes that affects its properties. Kids, you should always remember that recognizing the physical and chemical properties of matter is important in determining the usability of a certain material. Thanks, Doc Einstein. We have learned a valuable concept you have shared. So kids, we heard it right. We will be focusing on the properties of matter that makes a material whether useful or harmful. So when there are things at home that your mother is allowing you to handle, have you ever wondered why there are also things that should be kept out of your reach? Why is that so? Let's try this activity. Take a look at the situations that will be flashed on your TV screen. We will determine which of the activities is desirable or harmful. One to the left is D if desirable, and one to the right is H if harmful. Just choose one answer after reading the question, then say your answer after hearing the sound. Let's start! First, placing the biodegradable waste in the compost pit. What is your answer? D is correct. Second, smelling the fumes exhausted by cars. Say your answer. Awesome, it is H. Harmful, so kids, stay away from the fumes. Third, using broken glass to cut paper. What is your answer? The answer is H. It's harmful. Here is the fourth. Covering the textbook with acetate. What is your answer? Did I hear it right? Correct! The answer is D. It's desirable. You are doing well. And the fifth is burning plastic bottles. What is your answer? Great! The answer is H. It's harmful. What is your score? The highest is 5. I know you did well. Now we are ready for the next activity. This time, you will see pictures of materials you commonly see at home or in school. Let's check if you know its usefulness or harmfulness. Just choose the letter of your answer 
from the option that will be given. First picture is paint. A. Protects the wall and roof. B. Makes the plants colorful. What is your answer? You got it right! Letter A! Second picture is detergent. A. Polishes dirty shoes. Letter B. Cleans dirty clothes. What is your answer? Correct! It's letter B! Third picture is an insecticide. A. Kills insects and pests. Letter B. Sprays fruits and vegetables. What is your answer? Letter A is correct. Good job, kids! Let's try the fourth. A liter of cooking oil. A. Used as a fuel for motorcycle. Letter B. Used in frying food. What is your answer? You got it right! It's letter B! How about the fifth picture? A bottle of spoiled milk. Letter A. Causes poisoning. Letter B. Eases hunger. Did you get it right? Letter A is the answer. What is your score? 4 to 5 means you were able to grasp the concept. 3 and below, keep going, you're almost there. Kids, it is good to know that you already have idea which materials are useful and harmful. Now take a look at the materials around your house and try to recall the materials we usually found at school. Be ready for the next activity. Get a pen and a piece of paper. This time, you will classify the materials that will be flashed on your TV screen. Write where they are usually found, at home or in school. Are you ready? Let's start! First is cooking oil. Where do we usually find it? Correct! It is usually found at home. Second is armchair. Where do we usually find it? You got it right! It is usually found in school. Third is knife. Where do we usually find it? Great job! It is usually found at home. Fourth is flag. Where do we usually find it? Very good! It is usually found in school. Fifth is demonstration table. Where do we usually find it? That is right! It is usually found in school. Next is bell. Where do we usually find it? Correct! It is usually found in school. Alright! Now that we already know what are the things that we may usually find whether at home or at school, it is very important to know if they are useful or if they are harmful. Kids, are you now ready to find out when do materials become useful and when they become harmful? Observe how the materials in the pictures are being handled. Identify whether they are useful or harmful. Let's start! First picture is a shattered glass. What is your answer? Yes, harmful! Good job! Second picture is an empty bottle being refilled with water. What do you think is the answer? Useful! That's awesome! Third picture shows old boxes used as book organizers. What is the answer? Useful! Very good! Fourth picture is a basket made of candy wrappers. What is the answer? Useful! You are great! And the fifth picture shows vegetable peelings made into compost. What is the answer? Useful! Excellent! 
kids, take a look at these materials. What is this made of? Correct, plastic. Next one. What is this made of? Yes, this is made of paper. What is this made of? You are right, the container is made of can. How about this? Yes, it is made of glass. Knowing the properties of materials, can you give other examples? How do materials become useful or harmful? Materials are said to be useful when they serve their purpose. These may have properties such as durability, flexibility, elasticity, hardness, and resistance to water, heat, or acid. Most of the useful materials can be reused and recycled. For example, a container for solid or liquid. When it is already empty, it can still be used for other purposes such as a flower vase, a coin bank, or a house decor. Whether a bottle is made of plastic or glass, it has a property that makes it reusable. Some useful materials may also bring hazards. For example, a broken glass jar can cause cuts or injury. Toxic substances may also be present in things you commonly use, such as paints, fumes, gels, or powders. These materials may bring harm to your health, environment, and other organisms when not used properly. That's why you should be careful when handling and using different materials. Now, let's try another activity. This will help you fully understand which materials are useful and which are harmful. Identify the following materials as useful or harmful. In your notebook, draw a happy face for useful and a sad face for hurtful. Let's start! First, candy wrappers made into bag. Second, a broken glass thrown in the backyard. Third, disinfectant bottles thrown everywhere. Fourth, a box that was made into a bookshelf. Fifth, leftover food from restaurants turned into fertilizers. Kids, you're doing a great job. Let's keep going. Here is the sixth. Used syringe and needle placed beside children's toys. Seventh, a broken container turned into a decorative plant holder. Eight, used car tires turned into park benches. Ninth, old colorful magazines made into paper baskets. Tenth, empty bottles of paint thrown into the garbage bin for burning. What is your score? Did you do well in this activity? I hope you did. Now let's check what you have learned. Complete this paragraph using the words in the box. Harmful, hazardous, purpose, reused, useful, painful. Many materials and substances are Useful at home and in school, but they can be harmful if not used properly. Materials are considered useful when they serve their purpose. Some useful materials can be reused. For example, an empty container can be used as a house decor but some materials can be hazardous, like a broken glass jar that can cause cats or injury. 
Very good kids! You have learned to recognize useful and harmful materials. It is now your time to do other activities found in your module. Get your module 1 on recognizing useful and harmful materials. Go to pages 7 and 8. There are activities and assessments that you need to independently answer. When you are finished answering, contact the number of your teacher found in your instructional kit. Or you could email or send a message via messenger or SMS. Kids, always remember that recognizing useful and harmful materials is very important because we deal with this most of the time. You can share what you have learned to your friends and family so they will know too. I hope you had fun learning with me where science is made easy with Teacher Julie. Watch out for our next episodes here on Aral TV. Oh, 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 oh,